What's up, homies? Today I want to talk about something that I've been working on this past few weeks. It's a tool that I created in Vibe Coding, so using AI system development. That is completely free, it's available for everyone. And essentially what the, the tool does is allow you to upload an image and generate all the maps that you need for PBR workflow. So I'm going to share my screen, show to you how the tool works and where you can access it and start using it for free. So without further ado, let's just go. So this is texturewiz.com. Texture Wizard Online, and essentially this is the tool that I created. You just go to the website, you go to choose image. And in this case here, I'm gonna pick one from my desktop, which is a, a texture of a bunch of bricks that I got from, from Google. And just like that, you just upload it, click it, and you will have access to every single possible map they need. I'm gonna remove my webcam so it's a little bit easier for you to see. And what is cool about this, if you go to normal, is that you have on the right here all the controls you might need in order to do those operations. So if I go here, I can increase it, and it's giving me a, a message here saying that this preview is a 512 pixels, right? Power virtue. You can export in native, or you can export in a bunch of different uh, resolutions. You might feel that if you export in 4K, it's a little bit slower. So I can just go for my native here and just say, give me a 512 by 512. So now this texture is a power two, and I can start doing some uh, some changes there. Changing the scale, removing the sharpness. I can go to my height and do the same thing. I can go to my roughness and start playing with those sizes too. And it gives me some tips here at the bottom too. White areas are rough surfaces, black areas are smooth surfaces. You can invert or flip the interpolation. And this essentially means this is being used with metallic workflow, roughness metallic, which is a micro detail map. And it works best with high contrast images. So you see here, there's, there's a lot of black in some areas. So that's not really what I want from this. So I can just go here and decrease my contrast, maybe brightness a little bit. It is more like a roughness. Uh, texture for me. I can just go to metallic and I say, well, there's no metallic, so lower all this stuff to black in this case. I can play with my ambient occlusion, I can just increase it and start like brightening up a little bit. And you can see that the feedback is instant. For some reason, ambient occlusion is a little bit more on the complicated side to calculate, so it takes a little bit more time. But all of this, and it's supposed to be super fast, as you can see. So, what else do we have here? We also have the batch processing and the pack texture. So there's a lot of functionality that I added. So you can change every single one of the settings. So you have edge detection, you have emission, essentially, essentially you, you give a range and you can isolate areas of the image to be emissive. You can put the emissive color here and change to whatever you want. Okay. Might not be useful, might be, who knows if that's useful for you. Edge detection essentially isolates the, the edges. But what you can do, which is pretty cool, you can go to your batch processing and you can pick a resolution. If by any chance it doesn't load fully, just open again. I'm not entirely sure I'm trying to fix this stuff. But what is cool, you pick a resolution that you want to explore, like say 512, and you press batch process, and it's going to generate every single map. And if you press download, you can download every single map, including pack texture, which is another thing that I added here. So if you go to your pack texture, by any chance this open to again, and you your 512, you can pick which packed setup you want. So ambient occlusion red, roughness in green, metallic in blue, and I can just go generate pack textures, boom, that's that. So this painter look that you might be familiar with. So the idea of this tool is truly help you work uh, more efficiently. And if you don't wanna pay uh, for expensive tool to do this kind of maps, uh, you can just use this. It's totally free forever. You can use as much as you want. Um, the whatever texture you generate, it stays only on the client side, which means you. No one will have access to it, so you can use without any problems, without any fears. So now that I did this, <coughs> sorry, I want to show to you how that looks inside the reel. Uh, we need to see how that looks inside the reel. So. I'm gonna transition here. And this, by some reason, went to the side there. Let me just fix this screen here. Not entirely sure why it's a little bit cropped. There you go. 
So this is his UFN Oreo Angel for Four Eyes, and I created the material, and I haven't ordered already all the textures. So I'm gonna do this. So my webcam is done. So I have my basic material here. I'm gonna double click it. It's gonna open. Texture reuser, and what I want from here is my base color. In this case, here is ambient puja, so that goes to yellow, this goes to roughness, and this goes to metallic. But if I go here, you can see that that texture is already applied. So it's pretty straightforward and it works as intended. And this is supposed to be something that I'm using. Like I created literally because I need to do this kind of stuff. So this came from necessity, and I just want it to be something simple that you can connect and just plug in and just play, and it's working out of the box. So the reason why we part this video is to let you know that, that this tool is available for you. It's dashywiz.com. You can access use for free. If you think that's useful, if you've been using it for production, we'll love to hear your feedback. If there's anything that you think maybe there's like a uh, texture that's not behaving properly out of the batch with the seconds that they were supposed there. If there's any bug that you find on the website, like the one that will try to click it, it keeps yagging. So those are the kind of things are the things I want to address. And this tool is truly made out of necessity and love for the, for the community, trying to help people as much as we can. And yeah, use it. Use it as much as you want. Let me know. I would love to know if you're using the production. Uh, if you can share if there's an idea as what kind of production it is. I just want to understand how can I assist better. And this is for me the uh, beginning of something that I'm building. I want to build a whole package of tools for creatives that are available for free online. And eventually I want to grow to this tool into other more complex too. Like for example, a texture generation um, that you just prompted. Eventually that's kind of like the objective with this one specifically. Um, I want to help creating other uh, assisted tools for 2D graphics and uh, sprites. So, so yeah, take a look, use it, let me know. I would love if you can just give a like and leave a comment in the video on what kind of stuff that I should try to build next. What is the, the kind of tool that you wish you had? And maybe there's something that you're like, oh, I, I really wanted to learn how to do this. Can you show me how to do this stuff with pipe coding? I'm more than happy to do it. But Tiago, there's really this thing that I do at work often. I wish there was a tool that we can use it. Can you help us try to create something for that? Or maybe there's a tool, there's a paid tool that's very expensive. My studio is an indie studio. I'm, I'm a creative or a freelancer can afford it. Can you help us create something like that? I would love to, to accept the challenge and try to see what we can do together. So yeah, use the tool. Let me know. Leave in your comments below. So feedback if you have any or just shout outs. Peace out.